Are you looking to make sure that your PC runs as fast as possible with the highest frames and the lowest input delay? Well boys, there's one key thing you have to do in every single PC and this is to disable unnecessary services that you have opened up. And in this video, we'll be talking about 30 services that you guys should disable to make sure you get the highest frames. And boys, these services literally do not affect your PC in the slightest. So don't think if you disable some services, your PC is gonna blow up and it will never work again. That is not the case these services are completely unnecessary. So boys, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay boys, whilst you're on a desktop, the first thing you want to do is head over to the bottom, right click, go onto Task Manager, it'll take a second to load, then go onto Performance, CPU right here. What we're looking for, the main number we're looking for, processors. The amount of services that you have opened mostly depends on the processors you also have. The more processors, the more strain there is on your PC. Also, that means the slower your PC will run, the more frames you'll lose, the more delay you'll have, this and that. This, so in this video we'll disable some services to make sure the processors will go down the ideal range by the way for anyone wondering is about 90 to 110 that's completely fine and if you're wondering Jinsha you're teaching us but you have 130 processors boys I'm recording editing a video and I'm also showing you guys this so obviously my processors will be a bit higher usually it's about 90 and boys just quickly before I get into the services make sure you join my discord because I'm also going to be mentioning a lot more services to disable on there so if you want even more services disable literally go onto the discord down in the description Join it, Jinji Tweaking Army. Go on the announcers page, and right here, there's even more services to disable. Make sure you join this as all of us literally talk in the general every day as well. So let's get into it. So, the first thing you want to do, head over to the services tab. Okay, and now we're on the services. We'll finally start to disable the services that you don't need. And remember to follow along throughout this whole video because some of these are super important to disable. So, press on open services right here. Open services, and the big page will appear. And now let's get into it. The first one, Allo Join Router Service. Remember, for any of them i'm not going to go into too much detail but if any of them are super super important and you don't know whether to disable and enable them boys i'll let you know whether to do that because some of them will be about bluetooth some of them will be about wi-fi i'll let you know if, what to do but these are completely fine to disable and remember also on the right side it is a description so the first one is the allo joy router service go on right click onto it go on to properties startup type make sure it is disabled i won't go through this every single one i'll quickly go through it in just a second but for those of you that don't know how to stop this the service Server status have to be stopped. If it's already running, it will say running right here and the start button and the stop button. Make sure you click onto the stop so the server status stopped and then the startup type, make sure you go on to disable them. Then you can finally press apply and OK. To know that this 100% has worked, start the type disabled when all the others should be automatic or manual. You know it's working when this has happened. Now I'll quickly go through it and let you know if there are any ones that you need to change or not. Second one, assigned access managed surface, make sure that's disabled. The next one, BitLocker drive encryption, make that make sure that one's disabled. Next one, connected user experience and telemetry, that one's disabled. And now the next one you need to look for, scroll down a little bit until you see diagnostic execution service, make sure to disable this. And remember boys, all of these are completely fine. Remember, if you ever have any doubt, search up on Google firstly, then secondly, look at the description. Then thirdly, if you're still unsure, just keep it enabled at that point, boys. But trust me, it is completely fine to disable. Next one, diagnostic service host, that one's disabled. Diagnostic system host, that one's disabled. Dialog blocking service, that one also disabled. Then go down. Now the first one, whether you should have it disabled or not. In some households, they use a fax machine, pretty much an old printer. In mine, we don't use a fax machine, so I can disable this. Now, if you do use a fax machine in your house, if you sometimes print stuff, this isn't a printer, remember, but this is a fax machine. If you do use this, make sure to not disable this. But for literally 99% of people that do you don't use a fax machine just disable that one next one geolocation service pretty much saying where your location is at all times to microsoft you can disable this i guess the only way you can keep this enabled is if you sometimes look at the maps on your pc but personally i don't so i can disable that next one microsoft microsoft app v client disable that one scroll down a little bit until you see microsoft update health literally says it right here maintenance maintains update health you can just do it yourself it's completely fine to do disable that one next one net.tcp port disable net logon 
disable and for some of you may be thinking Jinji I don't have this service I don't have this service then obviously from PC to PC it's quite different most of you will have all of these but if some of you don't that's completely fine nothing to worry about by the way you don't have to do anything about it obviously parental controls this is another one if you don't know whether to disable or not obviously if you have the parental controls on your PC or anything like that make sure to not disable this but for most of us we don't have parental controls we can disable that completely fine next one phone service again whether you should do it or not if you use a phone on your pc or anything like that do not disable this one but for me personally i don't so disable that remote desktop configuration disable this one remote desktop services you can disable that one routine and remote access disable that one if you do actually use remote access for your pc personally again i don't so disable this but if you do do not disable it next one shared pc account literally entitled if you have a shared pc account do not disable this but in most cases you can but hopefully none of these apply to you so you can probably disable it sys main now this is quite a difficult one most people say to disable most people say keep it enabled for me personally disabling it is 10 times better literally says right here maintains and improves system performance over time maybe over time but boys disabling this my pc runs so much smoother 100 i recommend disabling this one next one themes i have that one disabled user experience fertilization service make sure that one's disabled as well scrolling down a bit more windows error reporting literally in the title reports errors back to microsoft table that one windows biometric service you can go ahead and disable that one as well scrolling down a bit more windows search disable this one and for some of you remember this is going to be a key part of this video remember what i'm going to say this because in the comments so many people say you've just deleted my windows search right disable this one and then most likely some people the search bar right here will disappear if it does literally go back onto the services and just enable it again it is not hard to do remember if you turn this disabled like most people have like i have for me it hasn't disappeared but some people if it does disappear just enable this part again windows search enable this one if you want the windows thing to come back now the next one work folders have disable that one and most importantly all of the xbox ones four xbox ones right here disable all of them unless obviously if you're using the xbox app or using xbox to clip anything then do not disable these but make sure you do all of those in the video remember if i said to enable them disable them that's your choice now again description right here that is completely fine to do once you do that you will have to restart your pc if you do not restart obviously it won't won't kick into place until the next time you restart but once you do this you don't have to save anything you don't have to go and file save this and that literally close this and that's that done and now just lastly to make sure all of your processes are working remember performance processes these are processes we want processes to be working close this head over to the search bar search system configuration click onto this one general you want to go selective startup tick the first two make sure the last one it's unticked apply okay then go on to boot now timeout this is very confusing for most people the lowest timeout you could possibly go is zero settings zero seconds that means you have the best PC possible you have literally a NASA PC now if you have a very very low-end PC or a laptop then go on to five seconds for me I have an average PC so I go on three seconds but if some of you want the perfect timeout literally go onto my discord go in general say Jinchi these are my specs what timeout shall I use I get back to every single one of you that say this there's over 3,000 people in my discord Discord, by the way then go on to advanced options make sure this box right here is ticked most of you have this unticked that's not good for your PC so tick it then click on to the highest amount you possibly can you want 16 processors obviously working at the same time you don't just want one you don't want two you won't want three you want the maximum amount some people have 32 some 16 some 8 just click the maximum amount just like so OK, apply, OK, and then it will close itself. Then remember, you have to restart your PC. Once you restart, then it fully clicks into the action. Now, boys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys further on this week.